not changing much even for today. Even over the weekend, we had plenty of sunshine just in that passing cloud cover afternoon, evening. So hopefully got to get outside, have some plans out there. It was not bad at all. Even over the weekend, had those temperatures back towards the upper 80s. Our average this time of the year, 88 degrees. Yesterday hit 89. We will continue just to see a little bit of a rise in those temperatures over the next couple of days. Now, nothing to the extent of how we were even over a week ago when we were talking that 90 degree heat. We've had 19 90 degree days so far just this month. Now, yes, today into tomorrow, we'll add just a little bit more to that. Then as we go from July into August, we also have that cold front headed this way. Not a huge drop in our temperatures, not going to have a huge difference like with that cold front we had last week, but it will start to bring our temperatures back down and it also will increase our rain and our storm chance. There's that cold front. It's working its way across the country, really into parts of the Midwest and kind of crossing over a bit more now into Missouri, also trying to make its way into parts of Tennessee, Kentucky. So a lot of that rain, the storms, it's up ahead of that cold front. It's also a slow moving one. So that's why we still have to wait today, tomorrow, then really Wednesday. That's when we start to have that rain, the storm chance much more widespread across even the entire state. And then it's going to stall hang out with us. So even Thursday, Friday, Saturday, even into a bit of Sunday, we do keep that rain and storm chance. Not going to be raining all day long, but pretty scattered, isolated with those storms, especially for the afternoon, also into the evening type of time frame. Now for today, also for tomorrow, we still have that high pressure system. That's what we had that big blue H now off towards the east all the way throughout the weekend and for a good portion of last week. That's starting to break down, but it still keeps us mostly sunny today and pretty comfortable. Yes, temperatures getting just a touch warmer, but it is July. It is summertime. 87 out there right now for Winston-Salem, 90 in Burlington, 86 in Danville, 78 in Galax, and 82 in North Wilkesboro. So it's a warm lunch hour already. We'll get back to a warm afternoon. Already have a few of those little pop-up storms out to the west where we have that isolated rain, the storm chance. Not seeing too heavy of activity, but just to the south there of Sparta, that one little isolated cell. Otherwise, just a few little pop-up storms here and there. Even off towards the north between Laurel Fork, even to Buffalo Ridge, still seeing that one isolated pop up storm. It gets going and then just kind of fizzles on out as well. So that's really the trend as we go throughout today and it's staying mostly out towards the west even the case as we had over the weekend. That's also where we do have that thunderstorm for our severe storm risk. The low end, just some general activity, get that daytime heating going, some of those clouds to start building vertically. That's where we have some of those storms and that also is staying right where we have that activity right now and even further off towards the west. Your hour by hour forecast for the rest of today for your Monday afternoon into the evening. There's some of those pop up storms, the isolate activity out to the west. Rest of us were into the upper 80s, touching the low 90s, just some cloud cover passing by and that carries through also into the evening. So looks a lot like how we were on Sunday. Not a bad day up ahead for the rest of your Monday and then we even continue this also into your Tuesday. So just continue with this pattern here, but then our pattern changes. Really that unsettled weather gets here for your Wednesday all the way into the weekend. That's also why we do have that alert icon on there. The scattered showers, the isolated storms. Best time frame does come afternoon to evening. Also for your Thursday, Friday, looking like the most active days.